Thanks so much for playing the Mario Maker 2 game. We're glad you all enjoyed the final major update, so we thought we'd show some things that did make the cut. You've seen vertical thwomps and also sideways thwomps, but get ready because now there are diagonal thwomps. If you thought their unpredictability was fun before, wait until you see these bad boys. We thought Lakitu's were a little limited since they could only throw enemies and items, so we've expanded them to be able to throw absolutely anything. Hey look, it's raining Bowsers! This works for Gizmos as well, so be on the lookout for a storm of bumpers, saws, or even skewers. You can even have Lakitu's throwing Lakitu's. We know how frustrating it can be to only have 500 seconds on the clock, so we've updated the timer to... Infinity! That's right, you don't have to worry about that pesky timer anymore. You know how limited you felt with only being able to give a level 1 clear condition? But well, get ready because now you can combine any number of clear conditions. Now the player can be required to collect 50 coins while holding a pal and never touching the ground after jumping. Another fun combination would be killing all 20 arrows while in a frog suit and not taking damage. The combinations are nearly infinite. In New Super Mario Bros, we had a mini mushroom which would turn you into mini Mario. So for Mario Maker 2, we took it one step further and are giving you a micro mushroom that turns you into micro Mario. Now you can jump around through levels as a tiny dot. Isn't that neat? The Snake Block has been one of the game's most popular and beloved items, and since we had one that moves slowly and another that moves faster, you'll have some real fun with Turbo Snake Blocks. If you thought the Blue Snakes were fast, just wait till you get a level with these bad boys. You'll have a hard time keeping up, and trust us, it will be so fun. We know you're tired of only being able to put items and those enemies in blocks, so now you can put absolutely anything inside of them. Now you can finally make that hilarious troll level where every block has a big Bowser in it. And who wouldn't love to play a level with no flag at the end, only to find out that it's in a hidden block? Need a checkpoint? Maybe you'll get lucky and find one in a block. You can even make blocks that spit out other blocks. It doesn't make sense, but it doesn't have to. Black pipes. They're like red pipes, but they poop out everything much faster. Sharp slopes. They're like steep slopes, except they're so steep you can't run up them and you can't slide down. Cool. We are finally unveiling the mysterious new game mode that's been blank all this time, and it's everyone's favorite Mario game, Hotel Mario. That's right, now you can add tons of doors and elevators, then add some Koopas, a coin, some Goombas, and then play your own awesome hotel level. And of course, this will still be available in all background styles like Haunted Mansion, Cave, and Castle. We know that Meowser is your favorite thing about 3D World, so now we're adding him to all four other game modes. Now you can watch him jump constantly off screen, flying through the air spitting fire, and shoot fireballs at you from off screen in any game mode. We're absolutely sure you won't hate him. Since everyone loves the unpredictability of snake blocks, we're going to be adding snake blocks. Just pick the direction you want to go and watch the fun. You can't possibly tell us that this would be annoying. We all know skewers are great, but they can be a little bit boring. So we're adding snake skewers. Just drag it like this and watch it go. Good luck predicting where this is going to go. You'll never see it coming because it looks unnatural. We're also releasing spinning skewers. And also eight-way skewers. Definitely not terrifying. Everyone loves magic Koopas, but they're a little limited. So now we're letting them turn blocks into literally anything. It could turn into Bowser. 
or a flagpole, or even yourself. Snake Thwomps and Skewers being such a great terrible update, we decided to give the snake ability to another beloved item, the cannon. Just drag any direction and there's no way the player will know where it's gonna go. Just think of all the great awful possibilities. If you think blue rings are a little boring, well we're gonna spice them up with features light, filling in the last boost so there's no gap making it spin way faster, reversing directions, and you can make the boost bigger without the circle getting bigger. We bet you're already thinking of how much fun these will be. We know you're tired of the boring magic Uva, so we're introducing magic Uva variations. The red magic Uva will turn the entire screen blocks into spikes. The green magic Uva can turn the entire screen into nothing. The yellow magic Koopa zips around like a ninja and shoots super fast. And finally, the invisible variant. You won't know he's there until a spiny falls on your head. Are you ever building a level and just can't decide what to put into a question block? Well, worry no more because we're giving you the everything block. When you hit it, literally everything comes out of it. Codaboos are a little too predictable with their simple up and down, so we've spiced them up with two new options. Curving on the way up, and curving on the way down. So much fun. But now people are dropping their switch on the ground, which breaks it and ruins their game progress. So now we've added a patch that when you play Mario Maker 2, coats your switch in Dargonite. The Marvel Universe's strongest known metal, so now if you drop the switch on the ground, there's no possible way for it to break. Problem solved. We know it's been fun to ride in the boot, Yoshi, and the car, so we're adding an entirely new thing to ride. The tank. That's right, now just hop inside and cruise along any terrain with no problem. And you can shoot cannons that blow up everything in front of you. This is available in all styles, so you can cruise in Mario 3. Super Mario World, New Super Mario Bros. U, and 3D World. We've added so many different directions for Thwomps to go, that we're adding another version, the Backwards Thwomp. Now when you get close, it flies in the opposite direction. Since we have the regular and big-sized enemies, we're now unveiling chunky-sized enemies. Chonky Goomba explodes into 16 regular Goombas. Chonky Blob can break through everything, including ground. And Chonky Koopa can also break through anything. Dry Bone Shell is so fun because it lets you pretend you're a Dry Bone. So now we're adding the Winged Dry Bone Shell, which lets you pretend you're a Winged Dry Bone that floats up and down. Doesn't this look amazing? Sometimes it's too easy when Mario can get a power-up to kill the enemies, so now we have an inverted power-up. When Mario gets this, all enemies on screen will get that power-up and immediately chase and attack him. Most vanilla Mario levels are very easy and a bit too boring, so we're adding a Dark Souls mode. It gives every enemy a power or weapon that makes it way harder to dodge or kill, like the Psycho Dry Bones, or the Fire Breathing Koopa, or the Bullet Bills shooting out fast Bonsai Bills. Just when you thought we've shown every possible block direction, you were wrong, because one direction we haven't shown is no direction at all. These swamps now just make a derpy face when you get nearby. You know how limited the enemies are because they all only have one main thing that they do. So now we're letting you combine enemies. Just overlap one on top of the other and BAM! New ways to make little simulums. Really get ready for hammer pokey. Or zap a blocks. Or like a rocky bowser. We've shown some replacements to the sun and moon, like black hole, evening, and midnight mode. So now we're unveiling sunrise mode. In this mode, the level alternates between full darkness and full light back and forth like the sun's rising and setting. So much fun. 